holding that thought is Dashan could be in a spot of bother. Flame gonna stun him already. Now I think Dashan knows too late. Pobelta here can repose for the taunt's gonna be their first blood. On the rush, no! Oh. Dashan able to take down Flame for first blood! What an incredible 1v2 that was by Darshan against the Immortals. Now check out the other great outplays from this week. That Shogat looks for a dive, aggressive engage into the mid lane. Alti comes out but knocks right back. Beautiful seismic shove from Perks. But Marin is very low, but he still has that stone plate. Gonna jump on Crazy, but Crazy, he will fight back. There's the stone plate coming through, but it's not enough. We'll trade one for one. Just let me look up the few. I've got, I've got my words to work on. Oh, hang on. You might need to focus on mid lane. One that's gonna pop down the Hexic Ultimatum. He keep getting melted away. Oh, and actually, so Wonder will just take the kill. Okay, trying to take this trade. He's actually gonna jump in on Tamar and can he dodge this? Flash it in here. Spared, he wants to get the flag and drag. Is there enough damage? He misses it. It is going to be the first blood, but. For Raptor Camp and Broxa lands another crazy good knockup onto this Elise. He's gonna get a kill on return. He will I indeed. Don't know about that. Some damage from oh. Exile. The rake has come out. Noxing Ball Diplomacy. No, no, no. Gonna get sidestep. If Exile can get a good combo down, the Q might just be enough. He needs mana. Broxa, Broxa needs mana. So, so scary. He's just gonna back. <laughs> is this actually happening? Yep. Whoa. Like Sneaky and Smoothie cannot be underestimated as someday now gonna be one versus two underneath his own turret. Making uh -oh. the outplay. He's got himself one, but the repel will drop the aggro contracts. But then the moment or two, Hextech Ultimatum comes down. Alfari is locked inside. Precision Protocol comes down. Phage and Sheen doing wonders for wonder. Very good flash comes out. Now Trashy's all of a sudden looking for Max Law. Feral scream into the rupture is sidestep. Very good seismic shot. A lot of damage on a trashy. He's forced to run for his life. One Wonder gets a passive shield onto Power of Evil and Senkai. He now looking to start a fight here on Deshai. Decent damage coming in as he throws down the Subjugate, but remember there is an Executioner's Calling sitting on Kane. It just doesn't seem to matter though. Kane is still just trying started. to hide him away. Weaver's War comes in, ultimatums there, and I believe Kane should actually be out. He got it! Oh! Gonna find the Gragas. That flashes away from the body slam. Beyond he's forward with his, with his own flag and drag in. Cube looking oh. for the trade, finds the first blood. Can he make it out with his life? It's gonna be the question. Oh, no. Slices and Tices in under the turret. Beyond, gonna take two shots. No flash on Lorlo. Doesn't have slice and dice either. Dominus down. Whenever Lorlo was gonna use it, waits for the last moment, looks to get the call, heal oh, back damage. down just above top, and he can get another call and he gets actually a lot of heal out of this one on Lyra. Slice and dice in two seconds. Watch out for the chomp, gets a hit from the Vorpal Spikes and goes down. Lots lot to be excited about is what mid lane party. Yeah, he's gonna get stunned up, flash in for the play, crown gonna get locked. Oh, oh the protection from Max! Marin's gonna rely on his own life as he's getting three man. Yeah, I mean, this is one on three. What can he do? Nice double knock up. But this gets stunned, the Cataclysm coming in. Is there enough damage? Doesn't look like it. And Mari is gonna survive. Oh, the turret's still trying to make plays. Gotta land those hooks. All right, that hook lands, but the Lantern is there. Afro's trying to step on it, but Pobelta's like, eh, oh, can't actually click it. Ah! That feels bad. Pobelta not able to get out of that one. Hoo hee, grabbing the kill. Heads up play from CLG. But again, you're chasing a Cassidy. A very hard thing to Whoa! do. That look! What, what the hell? What is that? He's trying to turn it around now, but he can't. Oh, holy Two shit. Moly. Who is this guy? Long shoot, just gonna go ahead and open up, try to find this one. Flash forward yet again. Gorilla does find the hook. Fate's call already prepped just to keep Faker locked down and sure that he cannot use that flash at all. That was Long Zoo securing an easy kill on Faker with a massive wombo combo. Here are some more wombo combos that'll make your head spin. Seconds of the fake calls. We're going there. real hard. There's the knockoff. Grand entrance comes down. All of the CC. Shockwave. Maron grabs the kill onto Sangyun immediately. And Good pawn action on the period. Does get rid of oh. Good play there from Spoony. And kills across the one special. Ultimate finally finishes channeling, but that's far too late. We want to put a little bit of pressure on Fate's call. Oh, goes back in. in. Throws down the box. What a hit from Team Solo mid. Brandini gets deleted. Frog is still alive. Trying to damn or trying to put the damage back onto Hauntzer. Back with the bandage. Austin's Beyond looks for the opening, has the flash available. Max making it into the back line. That's going to be the three man lockdown. Straight into the Whoa! door. That's going to be the Wombo combo that we were looking for. But Crowns, the first one to die. But now Ruler is arriving and he's firing away. Double kill going over to the Twitch. Maybe looking for a little bit more arriving on the back side of the fight here with that Abyssal Voyage. And here we will see Unicorns of Love jumping in. The face call comes out. That's a catch onto Hyana. He's knocked up. He's stunned up. Misfits are now on the board. Runaways. Ooh. Exactly what Splice do not want. The power of evil Shockwave catches three. It's a double kill for POE. As a 
it looks like they don't want too much more. Oh, the big engage here from Snowflower, the huge stun onto everybody. And the Cuckoo's on from the back. It looks like they're gonna get a kill in the back here from Sowan. He's still alive. So many low members. It's gonna be up to Kuzan and Teddy. They're looking for more. Snowflower's still alive somehow, some way. I don't think this is safe. Wow, Teleport actually completes a visit. Shachi, death sentence as well. Silenced and poisoned. I think you're right. Caps easily picks up a kill. Vitality of five people strong. Now let's see what Vitality can get done as they are going to just melt through the health bar. Shook is around, but Trashy throws the ult. Glacial Prism comes out into the chain of corruption, and that's the CC chain. Carry some of these fights, but Fnatic won't let that happen. No, uh, they won't. The invisible target, they're pretty easy to find the center. Screams, Chachi's throwing them out, fishing for targets, Glacial Prison. Oh! Oh! Savage, why are you there? Five versus four, Fnatic looking for more. Visit Chachi gets caught by the flay. Reckless is able to dash away. Now Exile's coming over the wall. Look at the damage. He's got Shadow Assault and uses it. Stand United onto caps. Buy so much time. Visit Chachi's down. Fnatic fight back. Cannot afford to go mid to late. Exile and caps trading very heavily. I don't know if caps. He was aware of that. You can win this, you can win this. Cleanse comes out, Twin Fangs available, Exile and Caps, Twin Fangs! I knew it, I knew it! He was out of mana, he was out of mana! And Exile was just waiting for the Q reset. Exile's intense 1v1 against Caps kicked off our list of 1v1s this week. Now stick around for the best of the 1v1s from week 7. Levels are low. You can see now he's basically average with the lead, but top lane is where we have to focus here, not on steel back, because expect there's Sinj one, he's trying to come to help. Oh, Cabo Shark's gonna be able to get one, and the bowl is gonna miss because he flashes away from it. Follow. Oh, Glenn go for solo kill. Oh, the block. very nice. Dead fast presence on the chain. He can't get away. The solo kill for Flame. The advantage that they needed in this early part of the map. The fact that this Callista has fallen behind is so big, but now Febivan, he's extremely low. Perks running in, looking to get a little something back. May not have happened in the bottom lane, but he is set up now to get the kill. Flashes over the Dark Sphere with about 400 gold. It's, okay, that's the Ghost from Geist was to all intent. Right, he knows that he doesn't have the heal or the flash, and uh, he might just have the damage. More hits will do it. One more. Can he get it? All the poison taken away. He will get the first blood. Flashes away from Bless. You're not going to hold on to that level. Yeah, and look at the movement as well. From Myth, he always following in with his jungle to get that deep vision. But now Odo, he's in some serious trouble. Flash up for expect. Level 4 to level 5. Flash forward. One auto attack. Spirit Trophy, you're going to buy a little bit of time. Looking for the cold. The Meek is going to get it. It's pretty rare that you see a rumble out damage. This. We're going to watch Brandini get outscaled. <laughs> Get that essence reaver completed as well. And there's the shockwave. That's one he's hit on this game, and no assistance required. Pulling Koskyu back. Maxlor looks for the stretching strike, but it's power of evil. This has been a good start for them so far, and I want to see them do more with this. But look how it. Oh, Exile, oh, what is he going to go down? The he goes into the what? sanguine pool, but you're just going to burn down. In the mid lane, as Chachi jumps onto Faxi, and the cataclysm will not save Faxi for long. Chachi. Swipes him away. He's strong now. Has the Ravnus Hydra. He's going to chase down Hauntzer. X-Tech ultimatum after the flag and drag. Where did his health go? Brandini coming up huge. Death sentence on the back end. Won't find a target. Caps is now running for his life. Exile's looking to trade with the wake. The flag. Oh. The death. The smash. Exile gets it. Oh, oh man. No, no way. Oh, he does it right into score. <laughs> Game one, we mentioned that Sang Yoon and Ki should be able to outskill Fuel and L on the 2v2. Oh, Speaking of outskilled. Xbox has stuck Ooh, around. Six A. Six A. Six A. Flashes in, nets towards Frog, and one more auto Nita does grab it. Six A on a killing spree. And Brandini going for the Nexus as they are coast to coast in what's happening right now. He's got the GA, so he's coming back up with Super Minions right behind him. Tries to get the last bit of armor. Hextech ultimatum as he feels like he can drop Hauntzer That's anyways. It. And it's Brandini taking a game for Echo Fox. Run, oh. come and run. Oh, he wants the solo kill. Oh. Here we go. No, it's how. Oh, he, oh. <laughs> he has no TP. They have the whirling and death. That can look to secure this. Mash throws in. Oh, he stole it. it. He steals it with the ultimate. That was Mash's unbelievable Baron steal against TSM. Now check out the rest of the best plays around Dragon and Baron. Boy here, but it's split. With focus, here comes the fight. Can he get it down? He steals oh, it away. And Shrek with the godlike to take it away from Vitality. He misses the death sentence. He misses that. He oh. goes in and he gets the steal. What a play by MT. He does it. And the heroic entrance here from Kuzan means that this might just be Jyn Air's game. Nice play by Key, but they are stuck in the pit. That will be Thresh going down. I can a save game before it, Baron. Zig, though. Zig flashes. Zig gets no, 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 away. no, 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 no,
Hanging off on the backside so he can route around the team. He'll have golden blue side. Lorlo tries to come to the it. top right over. Smites it away above all. And the two objective takers. Hakuo trying to get some kills down the side. Lyra is able to get that kill down on the rain over. But it is Liquid now closing down this fight. Choking out Envy. An unbelievable smite as rain over comes in on the Gragas. Just on the edge, watching Lyra to go over the wall. He's That's Lyra stealing the bear, and he gets it back. A little bit of redemption for Envy, but can they take the fight? Huh? 2,500 HP, very low on the backside. Is Acadian? He goes down before Baron does. Oh, he has sent secures the objective. Bjergsen getting one of these kills. Bjergsen getting a second kill. 1,000 kills for Bjergsen. Also due to the meta has changed. We gotta see him then shine in team fight, so split push. Mid lane. Oh, surprise! In comes the gang squad. And the Featherstorm means Yuki's gonna be able to pick up a kill. Power of Evil. Mysterious Monkey's mid lane gank caught Power of Evil completely off guard and with no chance for survival. Setting up this week's amazing set plays. Getting knocked up by the seismic shove of first commander and Joko here, and they're gonna look to collapse right on the G2 mid laner. Shockwave, and it looked oh too easy. Ping out the ward that was in the river, and here we go, Deft. Coming over the wall, and here comes Smep 2. There you go, and up burst damage. Face check, don't face check, don't face check. Burst. Oh, flash forward, there's too much CC. It does not matter if you block one spell. You are still doomed to die. Can check these bushes, but yeah, the team is a little bit behind him. That's what they needed, the bushwhack. There's the equalizer, the barbecue for TSM, and they try to leave right away. Which carry makes a mistake and just dies instantly so there's no damage? Well, if your team isn't around, I think that counts as a mistake as Dreams is getting caught. Strong champions like Jurgen are right now. Mm. Fnatic, though, they're looking for a play up topside. All right, Chain of Corruption is available. Flash comes out from Jezus. Samix is the target. Chain of Corruption gonna get fired in a moment or two. It's a Fnatic party. And Broxy gets first blood easily. Headaches start to come through from Longjun. Oh, Peanut. Yeah, he is in vision, body slam coming through. Faker now arriving, but Peanut just takes so much damage. He will get finished off as Cuz finds that kill. Play in the middle lane, needs to be careful because here oh. come Trashy and Mickey trying to try and get the stun. Shock brings right. them back. Yeah, but they don't have control of the side. Here comes Cho'Gath in. If they overextend, there's a possibility. Up underneath as well. Shockwave oh. there. Sneaky gets an easy kill and arrow. Forced to flash away. Gonna get Ace. Somebody oh. and taken down. Maybe the Ignite is enough for Smoothie able to get it. Cho'Gath though, roaming down, takes down Sneaky. I allow the 1 3 1 for Mason and want to go for. Uh oh. Umti, he's caught in the jungle. Look at this play. Okay. A little bit of a party bush from BBQ. They pick up the jungler. This risky dum, in the game pass. Dum, 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 The hook and the knock up. Samix brings in caps. And the twin fangs. Plus reckless for another kill. So long, especially Score. if you're ahead. And Scar, where are you going? Heroic entrance is going to come in and knock up four members. But again, Pawn is alone. Here comes Smet from the right side, but the fake skull is going to knock him out. He doesn't even have time to do any damage as he goes down. And now Kuro fighting his own fight on the left side will have the help of Mana. But in the end of it all, Pawn will go down as well. When Shoga feeds the Rift Herald, it actually doesn't give him, uh, you know, one of those stacks that are not minions, you know? And the teleport and play starting, though. That is a bit. <laughs> but you never know the point. Oh! Wait a minute, he's got a flat. He's going down. It's all right. Nice spell locker. That's a big oh, hook. Oh, that's a really big hook on the sneaky. Cosmic Radiance used. They get that big Taric ultimate out. And now, can they re engage and make this fight happen the way they want? Weaver's Wall to keep Keen from joining the fight. The damage comes through. Shrimp nearly going to be killed, but instead the shutdown out onto contracts. Impact going in. The tier two still alive. Someday has got the counter attack taunt. Smoothie coming forward with the stun as Cloud9 now on the retreat. There comes Adrian looking to make the play, but the Cataclysm comes down and Impact cannot survive longer. Dignitas pulls back. The Death Sentence won't find Jensen, who grabs the Rampage onto Adrian. Flashing forward, Joey wants more. Jensen trying to take this fight even further. Grabs the double kill on the Keen, looking to make a triple into Shrimp. Now the triple comes through and four die on Dignitas. Cloud9's intense team fight against Team Dignitas was just one of the many amazing team fights from the week. Here's a look at the rest. Oh, now the fight's gonna get started off. Trick has been picked off. G2 had to come to fight for the Baron, but can they win the fight now? Oh, he's going on the side. Oduwamne looking for a little bit more opportunity on the back side. Mithy's been knocked up. They're trying to disengage. Sven's still alive and well, but he has to run. Yankos is looking to devour him. Is he gonna have enough damage? Perks, you cannot make it out of there. HG 
2K. So down he will go. Starting the 4v5 though is Dinair. They get the huge stun out of Snowflower once again. He will give his life for that play, but that will be the life for the game. And it looks like Dinair with all these members going down and the clean ace is going to pick up game number two. Tanking it, but who he doing a lot of damage by both trying to reduce some of that X Smithy. He's the one that tries to initiate, and that means the Baron threat is off the tier. Darshan flashing forward, looking for Flame to post in. Drop back there is a great shot from who he's maybe going to end the rest of the fight. I am just get ripped to shreds as Pobelt is the only one left, but he will die in very quick succession. Ignar gets a knock up onto Dreams, but they focus their attention on the kick. It's an amazing as focus is on Han Sama. There goes the Jarvan pit down. They've caught Dreams. Yuki flashing away after the Feather Storm. They, they, they are tanky enough. Pull them together. Now Kiss says Maxlor. And amazing is going to be caught by himself as Kikis gets knocked away. Han Sama claims a kill, and this is definitely the Baron. Oh, here we go, though. Right in trying to make the play happen. Who he is going to be the target. They need to try and shut down this Talia. Finally goes down. As Cody's still firing shots away, Flame is going to die to Darshan, he's able to tread that through, but Stick stays so low. Darshan, they're going to save the back end of the fight, Cody creeping in the hook lands for Olay, but Darshan, he actually got a triple kill in and amongst the mess. Omar, a great double stun, as Darshan's going to try and shut the rest of it down. Olay wants to kill Afro, he's going to hook him up, Darshan needs a little bit more repose in there, does take it down, that's a... Unofficial Quadra, there's the ace for Seal Dew, they'll take it no matter how it happens. Blackout looking for it, they do manage to secure it, there's the Glacial Fissure, Xerxes is going to jump in as well, the stun puts Samix on a rampage and the Unicorns of Lava looking to clean up, Hillisang dead, but Samix gets rid of the Tristana as well, can he retreat from Rocket? Yes he can, the kiting is superb, Rocket are going to get ace around this Rift Herald and they get nothing for it. Very deep teleport. Yeah, coming in from behind, Explosive Cast comes through, separates a bit of the SKT squad here, Banks going to be the first one that gets jumped on, Flag and Drag coming through the pop-ups are there and Khan will be able to claim the kill and now it's just going to be all no spilling over no in favor of Longju Prey. Firing away, trying to get that chase down in onto Wolf. Will let him escape with his life for the moment, but everybody else on SKT will not be able to stay the same. The guys are down. No, Gates says, I'm going down. in first. Froggen uh, Frog puts himself right next to Hanser for the Hextech ultimatum. Froggen getting help from Akadi, and they kick back Hanser. The kills are coming in as Biofrost is low. Double it, flashing over the wall, putting himself in the middle of the fight with the rest of the team. If they're all there, they're all going to be safe, and they start picking up the rest of the kills. Mash, the only one left. Ole decides to go in. It's done. Right on the backside of him is Cody. And Moon's very low. They start hitting up what would be Ole. He's out of the fight. His flame goes all the way in, actually trying to work on the equalizer to help the team. Gets taken out by High as he gets the gate in. And the destiny is now Big for Fly rupture. Quest. Deadly Flourish locks another one down, and the wild cards find their target one after the other. We said it was going to be one big ending game fight. FlyQuest makes it two. The gold card almost coming through, but it's the hook shot. Still, you still looking. Another hook maybe for Afro, who he's roamed up here. Pobelsa so going to get trapped into Justice Fund. It's blocked by Omar. Does fall down for the dump from Spinny Jr. to try and get a counter kill. Do manage to grab it on the other end, but now Dashar going to move into the scene. And Flame, he's going down. Cody not going to get that last little snipe. Let's remember, we want Hillisang to go in first. Ooh, There's a follow up. Ulti. Racial Prison catches Exile. Exile's gone forward. He's a Reckless stand waiting. He's not down yet. All of a sudden, Exile's killed. Reckless it drops immediately thereafter. That's one carry apiece. The Shockwave smashes you all out. A double kill. Not done yet. Fnatic chasing Unicorns of Blood. It's a three for three. And both teams have lost two. The Grand Entrance comes back in. The Tor the Dash. But look at the damage from Caps. He's helped by Broxa. Fnatic are destroying Unicorns. He over to Moon, that's not actually who he wanted to use the ultimate on. And now Envy is getting routed in the oh, fight. Good hit coming in from Turtle, but he gets bounced back now. Lemon Nation trying to keep his AD carry alive. Turtle in a 2v1 situation with the help of the support. Oh, he's alive. And he stays alive throughout the situation. The Ardent Sensor doing just enough. Apollo focused by high and balls now. And that's going to be the kill. Smed's going to move himself over. He is in vision though as ADD moves himself towards the back line, gets the jump in as Depth's in trouble, and picks up that kill, it's another good equalizer, as Ian's just gonna melt to death. Smep grabs it, look at the AoE! This, my god, KT are ripping them up, it looks like he can kill the Godmore, but who cares, Smep's just got the damage himself. Time to dive in, flash stun for special fights too, Impact back in with the Rupert Cloud, that's still fighting it out. Oh. Jensen with a good little bit of 
Root down, but does take on Zig as the ult wears off. Watch out, he wants to go. Look at the arrow, does get it, but Jensen now snared up, finds a triple, but is going to fall down. Unicorns of Black Desire, Shane O'Neill, Hill aside, looks for the quick, there's a clue back in. Exile's trying to find a target, not going to find his man just yet. Brox is down though, Exile's escaped, he's managed to make it out. Reckless, still untouched from the front line. Oh, for Exile, there was his bad time, and Unicorns are winning. There's a Chachu though, gets his neck, keep an eye on Reckless's HP. He's killed, he's down, Unicorns may have done it. Unicorns of Love smash through Fnatic, they finally find the perfect fight. Exile doesn't die. Clearing minions, in goes ADD, the ultimate him goes down as Smep, just trying to keep himself alive. Stoneplate does exactly that, as now Deft has the consistent damage. Black right in there, he's gonna die immediately though. That was a little bit over Battle wall. as in goes Pawn. He's gonna do it. back, so much damage, he's still alive! As ADD jumps forward, the flash, unfortunate use of oh, Pawn. Pawn. Oh my god. Sometimes Pawn is a god, Atlas. Pawn gonna try and he land in a great double stun. The root lands in with a flayback from Smoothie, and Jensen barely alive gets healed he out of it. This. With a massive amount of knockoffs, gonna lock up contact. Impact still trying to fight it out, but C9 on the retreat. Another good knockback as Pyrion chasing him down. Impact, he's tying up as many as he can, but the carries are gonna finally get a pick on the Pyrion. Impact going down, finally we get feasted on by Zig. Very good stun from St. Cuts. Glacial Prison by some time. Kobe's caught by the quickness, but he instantly is forced to run away. Oh, the knocker from Alfari. Kobe's the target, stays alive, hops out, he keeps alive. And Summer has got a triple. Equalizer goes down, damage now going over to Lorlo, but he's not going down. Rain over falls, a stun hitting up onto Niski, and he gets blasted down. Shots coming in from Piglet. They lose Apollo, and then Golden Glue goes down. It's a back and forth, but TL's got the member win on this side. The power play to Liquid as they continue to take down members of Envy. Yeah, we're gonna fight on the bottom side. Maka ulti already expanded his contract starts in, but he's actually oh. got to use the ulti to try and defend himself there. Dashes out of the way, but not quite enough. Oh, the stun and knock off, but contract is gonna fall. Jensen flashes in though to try and finish oh, off. Trying to get Jensen! This. Knocks him back into the team. Sneaky still needs to keep moving, but he gets hit by the back by a special arrow. Grab the door, oh my feet God! What a miraculous team fight on the bot side. Almost ace in Cloud9, in fact, that is the ace. Dignitas in retreat. This so is going to be a case of Bjergsen firing off the shot. Team going to be soaking the damage. Hawks are grabbing the first kill of that fight as Maokai will now be cut down second. Make it Blitzcrank, Maokai barely hopping away instead. Been slow, Aaron slow. Continuing the chase, the slow comes down. Over the wall goes Trist. Shrimp somehow still oh, alive. The, kill, the auto attacks come in. The crits are down. And the shutdown for double lift. Caps is low. There's no minions, remember. That tower is super ultra mega beefy. Caps running for his life. Oh, There's so much damage onto Reckless. Now Reckless is dead. And Fnatic thrown it away. The shockwave. Caps and Fnatic are running for their lives. There was no minions. The tower was too tanky. They rushed for it. They couldn't take it down. Now Unicorns are will turn it around. Triple kill for Exile. They will win the game. And you are not allowed to fight in the base. Now it's Smep's turn. Oh. He's going to jump into Spirit saying, okay, can Mata actually save his life? They're trying to trade this one, but here comes Guro. Immediate exhaust. They will push him away. Just a little bit more damage. The blasting blood, though, the cocoon. He saves his life. Score gets in there. And now they're looking for more kills. The cancel TP from Marin saying, hey, I'm getting the hell out of here. Def's great escape and KT's turnaround was truly something to admire. But they weren't the only team to pull it off this week. Oh, help! Going to get grabbed up there. Forcing oh, Flash Ash. I'm going to keep chasing there with the Qs from Ola. Probably enough if Ignite's actually good, but the Dots is really nice from Ola. That's going to be a kill. Cody having to turn it around. Uh-oh, Mata in a bit of trouble here. Is going to be death sentence, and they're going to use everything onto him. But here comes the Glacial Fissure, and all of a sudden, this is going to turn around. One kill onto Kramer. Going to avoid Assault in, jumps forward as well. Sputtle trying to distract. He puts down the lands, and here come the TBs, but Sputtle is not long for the Rift. And Set oh. Shot comes in, and there's the hook as well. Trashy's going to get knocked back. The Gnar comes out. Trashy will fall. Can they keep Sputtle alive? Kobe opening up the big guns, looking to see if perhaps he can catch someone, but he just can't do it. Wonder has to flash the and now perhaps we'll see the re-engage onto Shook. Well, maybe it's just that Smep really didn't want to play it as beyond. He's going to flash the, into the cocoon, but Pawn, not going to get hit by that one. Teleport has been brought out as KT moved everyone to the mid lane. And now Beyond is more than dead. So much damage. First blood goes to Smeb. Is coming up. I don't know if he still has a package to get here. Grandini ultimatum. Now he can hook shot out of this one. Beautifully played, but he actually goes back in. Trying Haunts to give Frog in the kills here. Haunts are going to be going down. And now Sven Skarin has to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Frog. And the blue buff is there. He's able to get his refillable. He's able to get 
a lot more there. Wow, the rinse and repeats. They just kind of walk into these engagements. And Scarin's going to be able to do the same thing. Huge damage coming into Acadian. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.